It's Veterans Day here in the United States and across the country. Americans are taking the time to remember those who've served and sacrificed in the U.S. military. And here at Addis Israel Synagogue in Washington, D.C., Jewish war veterans are taking the spotlight as military men hold a discussion of how their Jewish faith has informed their many years of service in the U.S. forces. The military has been our country's leader when it comes to equality. The first of the organization to desegregate due to Harry S. Truman's presidential order, it is today an organization where anyone can excel based on their own skills and determination and not where they were born, the color of their skin, or whether or not they wear a kippah. So says Rear Admiral Herman Shalansky, who has served in the U.S. Navy for over 30 years. He says his faith has shaped his time in the military. The teachings of Judaism, the moral upbringing, contributed a lot to me uh, in terms of ethics and moving forward and doing the right thing and a long career. The admiral's experiences are just one of many. Army chaplain Rabbi Arnold Reznikov agrees that his Jewish upbringing fostered a spirit of service and patriotism. I believe that uh, it was part of my faith to be uh, uh, to, to serve my country, that, you know, we believe, Judaism believes, as you know, that uh, in every country we should uh, be strong in that country, try to help it. The rabbi entered the military as an average soldier, but his experiences led him to rabbinical school, and he ended up helping other soldiers with matters of faith and spirit. He stressed that interfaith cooperation is a defining part of what makes the U.S. forces uniquely successful. We were in the foxholes and the bunkers there in Beirut, and I made one statement one day as we were crouched down and the mortars were coming and the shells were coming, and I said, you know, I bet you we Americans have the only interfaith foxholes in the whole Mideast. You know, they're Christian phalanges, had Christian foxholes, there were Muslim foxholes, and over the, the line, the Israelis had mostly Jewish foxholes, and I said, maybe if the world had more interfaith foxholes, we would ne wouldn't need so many foxholes to start with. A timely message for Veterans Day. At the National Museum of American Jewish Military History in Washington, run in association with the Jewish War Veterans of the USA Group, every day is an opportunity to remember Jewish contribution to the war front. The goal of the National Museum of American Jewish Military History is to preserve the heroism, patriotism, service to this country of American Jewish veterans. Photographs and texts tell the stories of countless American Jews who have sacrificed their lives to the cause, from famous names to the everyday civilians who've been lost to time. Jewish Americans have a long history in the U.S. forces, having served in every single war. Many took pride in serving the United States, especially during times when Jews were being persecuted in other countries around the world. Established in 1896, the Jewish War Veterans Group is the longest-running active veterans organization in the United States, with members of all ages located all across the country. And they plan to be around for many more Veterans Days to come. I'm Rebecca Foster for JN1 in Washington.